finally get those sore knuckles out from under the tape, and he'll have a happy moment as he flies back to the stage, getting a victory after losing to Terry Norris in his last fight. He goes to 27 and one. This is ready for a couple of junior welterweights. We are set on the card anyway to go 10. They have had the opportunity of cutting a couple of fights early on, so we'll have to kind of wait and see after the auctions are made. Khalib Raoul will be the one that will be coming out of the blue corner while Roland Lecourt will be coming out of the red corner. Both these gentlemen hailing from France, both fighting out of Paris. Raoul is a former world champion kickboxer. Top competitor both in ice skating and in soccer. This is Lecourt that they're talking to right now. 29 years young. 63 and 4 equates to about 140. 63 and 2 for 139 for Rialu. Former French champion is Le Kirk, junior welterweight, 1989. And we're ready to go for round one. One in a series of several kickboxers that are making the transition to professional boxing. James Waring probably being the most notable along with Troy Dorsey going on to win world championships Waring, in both sports. Waring to defend his title on May 2nd in Fredericksburg, Virginia against Nelson. The British fighter will be coming to the States to fight. Could be a pretty good war there. Yeah, that should be. I've seen Johnny Nelson before, but he's never been in any kind of a fight that anyone would describe as a war. He's a classic fighter. Beautiful boxer. And Waring's really surprised a lot of people with his success, especially his less than 20 second knockout of James Pritchard. He also surprised a lot of people after winning the title over Pritchard and promptly signed to fight an exhibition kickbox over in Japan and got injured doing so. I'm sure Cedric loved that. <laughs> world International promoter Cedric Kushner, who promotes Waring's fights around the world. Lekirk in the black. Ralu in the white with a red stripe. You can see that Ralu is experienced beyond the eight professional boxing matches that he's been involved with. Seven and one with a couple of knockouts. 25 and 13 for Lekirk. Winter Circus seats about 1,900. They anticipated about 16 to 1,700, but looking around, not a lot of empty seats in this one, two, three, four, five tiered building. Well, we really got to hear about every one of those seats during that last bout. <laughs> Good right hand counter. In talking to those that cover for French television here, said, do not look for either one of these fighters to be the quote unquote big puncher. You will see technicians at work and you see Raul is the one that's throwing the best of the two on Le Kirk at the moment. Le Kirk's a good defensive fighter just at the time he gets hit with a big left hand. Raul, good stand up, ducks behind the, the two gloves. Lekirk is one of those sneaky fighters, it appears. Bobby looks like he's not doing much, and all of a sudden he'll pop you with one. Yeah, he's got a great defensive posture there, chin tucked in low, shoulders up high. Both fighters are in good defensive positions. He's lost 13 times. He's been knocked out six times. Has nine knockouts of his own, is Lekirk. And there's the bell in round one. Okay. Rilu in the white on the right and Lekert. Both Frenchmen in the black. They do appreciate the finer points of they boxing do. over here. Yes. Kirk trying to establish that left jab. Sam Smith along with Bob Spagnola. Boxing manager out of Houston, Texas. And the manager of IBF Bantamweight champion. Orlando Canizales. Had to get in my little PA voice there for a moment there. Rather nervous one right now. I can imagine. Nerves are starting to crank in here. Ralu digging an uppercut. Lekirk 
backing away from it. Good straight left jab by Rilu. He has a nice assortment of punches. Good defense, fairly good back step. Pivots away from the punches, slips him well. Good balance. It's only 25, it's seven and one. Oh, good hook after the right hand. Hurt LeCourt. LeCourt may be in trouble. Fought his way nicely off the ropes by perseverance and nothing else. Oh, and Raul goes nice right back to work on hook. it. Triple left hook there by Raul. To the body and then up to the head. This is heating up here. Rilu again having just about his way there for a moment in the second round. Apparently he's let Kirk off the hook a bit here. He made a point with him though there. Yeah. Oh, big right hand. Right up on the temple. The Kirk fights back when he's hurt, but Last 30 seconds of round number two. LeCurk has survived this round. Looked like he was in a lot of trouble at the start of the round. Roosevelt in round two. Over nearly 40 professional fights, so I don't think that'll shake him up too much, but he needs to get himself established. You can't let this guy back him up. Been a pro for about nine years now with those 40 fights. He seems to pull back at the same time he's throwing his punches, but he's felt the strength. Nice little feints by Raul before he goes in. And he's found a home for that right hand over the top. Ailu, who lives just north of Paris, but calls Paris his home now. Leclerc also from Paris. Never met before, though. Raul is really complete companion control of the fight right now. Got he go. Oh, he's no. badly hurt. Oh, he is indeed. Did they let it go? LeCurt gets the gloves up. Referee finishes the mandatory eight. He's a veteran. He's trying to shake it loose, but he's in trouble here. Raul's looking to land that right hand, and he lands it again. This won't go much longer. Raul looking for his eighth win. And his third knockout, and right now, he may be in quest of it right now. When a fighter loses his equilibrium <laughs> like that. Oh, big left hook again. LeCurk is just standing on sheer determination right now, that's all. And he does know it's the right hand that's done the trouble, because he's certainly covering up from that. A lot of courage. LeCurk literally just stumbling around the ring. To the credit of the referee, of course, LeCurk is still throwing punches. So he doesn't want to prematurely stop it, but you know in his mind, the referee, that he is watching closely. Because LeCurk is in trouble here in this third round. So, Ralu needs to work the uppercut underneath to bring that left hand down to enable him to land the right hand that did the damage and there he tries the uppercut and then the right hand over the top LeCurk says I gotta hold up and get out of here <laughs> can't blame him for that digging shots by Ralu
Lekirk's just going to hope to get out That's of this. It. Standing eight count here to close the round. The bell will sound, but he has to finish the count. He looks like a weeping willow there. The There's the bell. So the third round, a tough one for Lekirk is over. Get your welterweight fight. As we've got a couple of Frenchmen, Khalib Ralu in the white, Roland Lekirk in the black. It has been Ralu has had the upper hand since the very start. Lekirk gamely fought in the first round, but from there on in, being down in the third once and in a standing eight count also in the third. He has just withstood this on perseverance. Yeah, but sometimes discretion becomes the better part of valor and he does seem to have his legs back underneath him though but see what Raul I think in Lekirk you can see you can see a good set of legs you see probably a, a soccer player as well in Lekirk in addition to great work in the ring and being a former French uh, champion. A lot of courage. And a big heart indeed. Rilu is quite obviously just getting some work here now. Keep in mind, Lekirk refuses to to go totally out, but Raul is, is punching. Yeah. Good hand, good right hand. Uh, I think he's just looking for a, and this is, looks like it might be the time he's chosen to finish this fight. Might have found the light switch, folks. All over here, I know they call it a rue. In America, we say that Leclerc has a queer street address. <laughs> Ooh. And maybe looking for a soft place to land here. Well, Ray Lewis setting. Uh, he's throwing some monsters yeah. punches right now. Yeah. Lekirk seems to be like a big bag in the gym right now. He's taking everything he's throwing at it. When your legs betray you, it's tough to get anything going. By the way, we have been informed it was set for 10. They have shortened this fight down to eight. You see we are nearing the halfway point of the schedule eight rounds anyway. I think it's all academic. Little push there. So Ralu has once again looked good through four rounds, and Lekirk goes down, can't be saved by the bell now. You saw the time was out. He must get up, clear the count. Doesn't look like he's in any trouble with the gloves up. And the minute he clears the count, then the round is over. So they have fought four rounds here. They may have shaken, they may have waved this off. And they may have even shortened it to even four rounds. <laughs> I think they're doing this by now the the corner of Lekirk <laughs> is a little surprised that they have waved it down to a four rounder they're disappointed over there because they had indicated it was going to be an eight rounder short from 10 and now they get half of what they expected certainly Lekirk was not going to turn this thing around but he I think he wanted to fight a little more anyway his corner is upset I don't know if he is <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, he goes over and he said, can we take a vote on this, guys? I've only got one vote, but it's going to count as three, if you don't mind. You can see why Lekirk probably didn't want to fight anymore with this man. Hey, I tell you what, uh, Ralu at uh, 139 pounds, pretty good looking fighter here. Yeah, nice looking fighter. And there was the knockdown. That was the third one of the fight. And ends at the end of the fourth round. Again, he got up and cleared the count. And then the round was over, and as we are unfortunately not informed, it in the fight as well in four rounds here in Paris. Well, we can be sure that the championship fight scheduled for 12. It so. is scheduled for 12. There's no way they can change that one. So the official announcement here 
probably won't be a great surprise, ladies and gentlemen, unless the Eiffel Tower has fallen down, but it has not. And one of the towers in the junior welterweight division here in Paris belongs to this man. Rilu, who comes up with his eighth victory against only one loss and does it in convincing fashion here in four rounds in Paris tonight.